I forgot two very important things. Okay, now we're ready. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing today? First of all, congratulations, Brian and Cobalt for first and second, respectfully. Hello, Brian. Hello, Cobalt. How are you guys doing today? And Cobalt, aren't you supposed to be doing things today? <gasps> Jade! How are you? Ah! Long time no see. And congratulations on third. I'm doing well. Aren't you supposed to be doing chores right now? Sir. Sir. I appreciate you being here, of course. But I can't not be a sassy lad, a sassy lad right now. It's part, it's part of my charm. What little charm I have. <laughs> I'm getting started on it, Mom! I'm doing good. Very, very tired. I feel that, Jade. I made the mistake of... What is it? So two nights ago, I was like, I'm not going to turn on an alarm. I'm just going to sleep until I get back up again. And I had had drinks that night. So I was out for 12 hours. <laughs> Wanted to talk because I've done nothing today, but still there's hope for you, Cobalt. No, no, no. Jade, you are going to be the fire that ignites Cobalt's, Cobalt's drive to do his chores faster. That's what's going to happen. You're going to be the kindling to the flame that he needs to push through any of those potential barriers that hold him back from doing his chores. Taking control of your own life. Well, well, basically, you know, the one good thing about being a neat is you can be like, yeah, just don't turn on the alarm, just pass out. So I had 12 hours, but because of that, yesterday I couldn't fall asleep. I just, I wasn't tired. Like, I went to bed at 10 a.m. because I'm like, I mean, I need to go to bed at some point before a stream, but I'm really not that tired. Ah, heck. And then I laid there for like an hour and a half and then finally passed out. So I'm running on a sweet five hours right now. But if you take three hours away from that 12 and add it to that, I got my eight hours and I got nine hours. So I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Which means I'm probably going to have shit sleep tonight. But we can hope for the best. <laughs> Hang on, I feel like um, I'm misaligned again. Here we go. How is everybody doing? How has your weekends been treating you? How has... Heck, how has life been treating you? How has family been treating you? How has the dog been treating you? Has the dog been barking more than you think it has? Maybe there's a ghost in your house. Ooh. <laughs> These are the topics I was supposed to talk about a week ago. When the spooky season was still here. And I'm supposed to say stuff like... Careful where you go you might be struck by Mariah Carey and everyone goes oh and I'm like that's right it's that time of the year though the us sane individuals know that Christmas doesn't start until at least December there are those who will not who will not allow for a month of breathing time it's not October. All the ghosts have been sent back to hell. Sent back to hell. That's not where ghosts go. They're in the in-between. They're just less visible. 
The only difference between October and the rest of the year is that the strength of the veil that holds to down the, the, the barrier between the mortal realm and the spiritual realm is thinned, partly due to our own collective psychic consciousness. As we more and more believe in Halloween, the thinner the veil gets during the October season. The only reason that we see spirits between the, between any time after and before October is simply because there's enough people in the world doing spooky stuff to thin that veil again in just little pocketed areas. And that's why ghost sightings happen. I've been listening to too many supernatural podcasts recently. But I love the concept. I think the collective conscious or the collective unconscious is, is a fascinating thing, even if I know very little about it. Then who are the 50, the 50 creatures covered in white, sh white sheets in my basement? Jade, I told you that you need to let them out. They're just wanderers. They just want to continue travel, traveling towards their destination, whatever it might be. You can't keep them. No, they're just wanderers. They're just people. They're just shy and need the sheets in order to be comfortable. Anything on my end? I have both Thursday and Friday off next week on account of holidays. Holidays for what? Oh, right. You guys have Thanksgiving in November, don't you? Well, I've made a big mistake. You can still release them, Jade. Send them out into the wild. They won't say anything. They're too shy to... They'll just be like, rrr, 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 thank you. And then they just wander off without a care in the world. You should just silence them. In what regard, Cobalt? Are we talking silence as in like... Like, choke them out poison gas or like silence is in like cut their tongues out or remove their vocal cords like well what are we thinking right now all of my yeehaw americans have thanksgiving oh yeah oh and veterans day oh of course november 11th this is it november 11th it's November 11th, right? That's Mever That's Remembrance Day. Unless I'm thinking of something different. Cobalt hmm. is an accomplice in this. Make them into ghosts. Cobalt, you can't just... You can't just... You can't just do that. You can't just... The fact that they're still alive should be... Give them the right to be free. Please. Let them just be. Cobalt, I don't know if that's a good thing. Cobalt, I'm worried. Uh, 
I am debating on eating three slices of bread and calling that dinner. I don't really want to do anything that's invo that involves effort. You sound like a friend of mine from the other day. They're just like, I'm just eating white bread right now. And I'm like, why? They're just like, it's just what I'm feeling, you know? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> bread sandwich is top tier. I hope that you're not eating white bread though, Jade, because there's like almost no nutrients in white bread, if I recall correctly. Like, hopefully you're at least eating whole wheat, because that has some nutritional value. <laughs> though no, I think at this point, currently feeling the urge to, oh, Cobalt, you can't tell me that. That sounds amazing. Ugh, what kind of pizza is it, though? And, a oh, sorry, an election day. I didn't realize election day was a holiday. I'm sorry, I misread. I misread that, Brian. That's on me. I'm pretty sure I even said accidentally, just like, yeah, Thanksgiving. And was like, yup, that's right. Don't have to double check that statement. Cobalt, just so you know, there's like, there's a microphone in your face, like, too close, you know? Y you guys have seen those videos, right, where, like, the news reporter is, like, trying to get information out of somebody, and, like, the microphone is just invading their personal space, like, it's not like, so, like, it, it, for the microphone here, like, it's not like this, it's like, it's like this, you know? You're just like, can you, like, not do that? I normally do regular pepperoni, but I'm thinking pepperoni and bacon. You know, if you put some mushrooms on there, you make a Canadian. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But also, if you put, what was it? I guess it'd be either like ground beef or like Italian, you could technically call it a meat lover's. I'm being unreasonable right now. Obviously, get whatever the heck you want. Don't let me influence your stay, your your proclamations here. Because I personally love a good meat lovers. I'm back in here because I don't like mushrooms on pizza. I don't like them that much either, Cobalt. Like, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but I know they're healthy. So a lot of the times when I am trying to buy pizza, I'm like, okay, for the sake of my health, Let's buy this, you know? Like, I try to do that. Though, more often than not, I end up buying, like, a stuffed crust of meat lovers. And it's like, okay, well, maybe I fucked up here. But I try, dang it. That's why I've been learning to make stir-fry for the last couple of weeks. Just, like, figuring out roughly how to do it. Because it's just like, yeah, I mean, sure, the sauce is probably not the healthiest thing. But it's, I'm making it with pork. Which is not too bad of a health food. And it's very cheap meat, luckily. As well. And then just, like, the heck is it called? Like, Californian mix, I think is what it's called. So it's broccoli, um, cauliflower, and carrots. Mix that up, fry it up, a little bit of garlic in there, the sauce, I add a splat, or the, how to say, it, teriyaki sauce. I figured out that if you take the teriyaki, oh, hold on, get a little tickle in the throat, because why not? That if you take the teriyaki sauce store-bought, that's the stir-fry sauce, and you take the teriyaki marinade sauce, and you do half and half when you make the actual sauce in the pan. Like you pour half of both bottles in. And then add like three big splashes of soy sauce. Oh! Mmm! Wonderful. I think that's my go-to now. Because I don't know how to make the... So I don't know how to make teriyaki sauce on its own. So that's how I, that's how I make it. 
Because I stood the first time I ever did it, I did it by accident with the marinade. I didn't realize I had bought the marinade instead of the stir fry sauce. So I made that, and like the marinade is very sweet. So I was like, this is good, but I don't like this. So I added some soy sauce to it to try and like add a saltiness to the to the sweetness. And I'm like, so the first time I made it, I was like, oh, this is good, but the sauce is really runny. I wonder why the sauce is so runny. And then the second time, I was like, oh, I bought the wrong stuff. All right, I'll buy the I'll buy the stir fry sauce. And I put the stir fry sauce in, and I'm like, this is actually kind of bitter. And I don't really have anything sweet to, like, counteract it. So I tried the soy sauce again, and it was okay. Hey, Spencer, how's it going, my dude? I hope that you're having a good weekend so far. So I, tr so I tried to put the soy sauce in there, and I had it. I'm like, it's fine, but it's not what I was hoping for, you know? Like, it's missing that sweetness. And then I happened to go to the store the other day. Pork was on sale, like pork loins or tenderloins or whatever the heck you want to call them. You know, like the small pork chop sizes that are like, I don't know how big you would say, but the, a little bit bigger than a fist in terms of like length and width, not in terms of thickness. There were like six of those on sale for like dirt cheap, basically. And I was like, oh, I'll buy them, you know, like I can, I can work, do things with pork. And then I was going down just the aisle and I saw that both the marinade and the stir fry sauce were both on sale. And I'm like, tis a sign! So I just grabbed them both and was just like, yeah, we're testing it. I'm supposed to be sleeping right now, but we're gonna make, we're gonna make stir fry instead. And we're gonna create some hellish concoction. And then I did that. And it was like, oh, this is it. Like, this is what I'm, ha this is the happy spot right here. This is what I need to get to. So I think I figured out my current... How to say, like, my current method of making, like, how to say it, like, pork stir-fry. With, ter ter sorry, pork teriyaki stir-fry. There we go, hiccups. Oh, no. But how you doing, Spencer? How goes, how goes it in the, in the great white north on your end? Many snow has struck him down, I presume. Also, hold on, now that I think about it, I need to really quickly re-reference for myself here. I'm having I'm having a tiny moment. Oh, that's what it was. Spencer, that for hello moon. Spencer, that fish meme that you posted in the other memes was a roller coaster ride of emotions. Good lord. <laughs> Hello, moon. There. You got your redeem. <laughs> you know, right? I know, right? I'm like, wait. Because... Like, the, the text at the top was like, okay, there's no what... The, it implied that he escaped, but, like, every time he escaped, the freaking bird, like, adjusted itself. And I'm like, oh, God. Like, wait, no. Like, he is going to fail, and then he doesn't fail, and then it happens again, and it happens again, and I'm like... Ah. Never been so inspired by a fish before. Dude, same. I'm like, I don't know how to feel. I am emotionally, like, rattled right now. Looked like you really enjoyed the head pads, Will. Jade, it's not there because I want it to be. 
And thank you for the stretch and the hydrate, of, co of course, Cobalt. I will do the stretch and the hydrate now. All right. If anybody would like to join me in the stretches, then by all means to do so. So we're gonna... Oh, I actually do... Hey, Kuma, how's it going, my dude? Oh, how was that video, Kuma, that you posted? I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. I made it about two minutes in this morning and was like, I should really go to bed. The, uh, uh, Internet Historian one, is it any good? So we're gonna reach up with both arms. And we're gonna reach to the side. Wait, are we uncut? Yeah, oh, that's basically a cobalt. It is, a uh, reluctant... How to say it? I am reluctantly receiving head pats. It's in the same vein as um and shake out our wrists. It's in the same vein as when like a relative gives you a hug and you don't want a hug. You know where it's like I'm not really capable of saying no, but I won't hug back. You know, like that kind of an idea. Or if you do hug back, it's like a pat, pat on the back, you know, like with the palm as, as your hand as fully extended as possible to do like, do like a It's, it's reluctant consent, I think is the best way to describe it. <laughs> you haven't watched it yet, Kuma. Come on, man. Just kidding. I hope it's good. It seemed silly from the first two. How far did I get in? Let me check. Oh, sorry. I made it five minutes in. And at the five minute mark, I was like, ah, heck, this is actually going somewhere. Like, this is ramping up, and I'm, like, not in a state where I can be fo functionally focused on this. Functionally focused. That's got too much f in it. Too much F. F functionally focused. So it should be good. True, true. I feel a little bit sad though, because I was I was binging some of his story time channel, and it just wasn't hitting home as it wasn't hitting as strongly as I would have liked it to have. Like, not that it wasn't good, but it wasn't like hitting. How to describe? It wasn't quite hitting in the same way that his other channels do, and I don't know why. Like, I don't know exactly why. I think just certain types of, like, jokes that he tends to make with that particular person, like, uh, well, sorry, with the, that particular co-host just, like, didn't quite hit. Like, it's still enjoyable, but it's not the same as, like, Internet Historian or as Incognito Mode, for me personally. That being said, I'll probably still binge all of it because... That's who I am. Six steps really quick. No, that's not how I want it to be. No, that's incorrect. Hang on, reference time. Oh, 
I was way off in terms of what I was trying to do. Goodness gracious, this is why we get reference people. As if I'm not the one who's struggling at the moment. People, why didn't we get reference? People, people, please. No, no, Will. It's you who's having a problem, not them. Don't drag them into your little situation. Triox, how are you? How is your weekend going, my dude? these. Wait, hold on. Taking a break, brought my dad. Uh, bought my dad and our sister. Fuck it. Hell yeah, my dude. I mean, if there's like a sale or something where you just see something, you know, it's just like, no, that's perfect. Just like, yeah, just do that. One less thing to worry about. <laughs> Done. Easy. You're doing the right thing. Yeah, no, that's, that's correct. My hand should cover it more. I should probably go out a bit further. Just catching out a thing. I got another thing that I gotta do for Kaju's Art Week. So this week, it's autumn singing in cold. So I'm gonna have Benjamin Toast do a little uh, do a little singing. And hello, Dorn. How's it going, my dude? Hope your weekend is going well. One last thing I need to draw. If he cries, does he get soggy? That is a question that I don't think I can answer, Dorn. I'm sorry. I don't think I have an answer for that. And I'm just sad about it now. Reference. What would this be? some reason, I read that in the tone of Santa Claus is going to town. <laughs> he 
He's done when baked, f when fully baked. But also the potential of being fully baked from the perspective of like... What's the word for that? Is that considered a narcotic? Is weed considered a narcotic? I'm not sure if it is or not. But just the idea of like, you know, he's done when he's... Eh! The lower rent. Doing BlizzCon Nest but dropping Lurk Tattoo. Wait, BlizzCon is happening already? God damn. Well, in that case, have fun, Erwin. Thank you so much for the bits. Always appreciated. Isle of Dorn. Question mark. It's nearing the end of the second of day two. Oh. Let me know what kind of stuff happened, Erwin. I'd like to hear. I don't associate with Blizzard anymore, but I'm interested. Yeah, you know where you can hit me up. I would love to hear what's going on. Yeah, I think this is the general shape I want to go for. Because it's shoom, shoom. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All right, in that case, we need this and boom but yeah have fun Erwin thank you so much again for the bits and also your weekend better be going well Now we hit the fun part of Will doesn't talk for a while because he's he's too focused on trying to make the drawing look okay. My favorite part. So I think my music might be a bit too loud. Let's reduce it by just a little bit. There we go. Foki on on breed. I gotta make sure it looks good, Triox. Everybody's gonna be looking at it tomorrow, so... I gotta put the time and effort into it. Not that it honestly matters, because... That community is a good community. They're not really... How to say it? They're not the, uh... The shit-talking kind, so... Even if I put, put something in there that wasn't to my usual standards. There'd still be relatively decent commentary about it. But I would know. You know what I mean? When you half-ass something and nobody makes a comment on it, but you know. And you're just like, eh, that could have done better. And then it haunts you for the rest of your life. But only in those little moments when you have time to think.
Also, how has um, Anomaly been treating you recently, Triox? I've been trying to get into your streams whenever I can, but I don't always have time to chat. And then I'm sitting there like, I want to know how things are going, and I can't ask because I literally don't have time. <laughs> Dead out of love loop. No problem at all, Jade. Please eat something. And also get some rest. Sleep, girl. Get those snoozes in. And deal with the 50 the 50 cloaked figures in your basement. Please. Let them out or put them out of their misery. Pick one. Don't do this to them. How did I goof that so badly? My goodness. Moon, teach me how to do line art properly. Already there. Don't lie to me. My line art is one of my weakest things. I have no semblance of, like, decent line control. And line thickness I really struggle with because I just can't... I can't put those pieces together in my head. Hey, Eccentric, how's it going, my dude? How was the rest of your Little Nightmares 2 stream the other day? To be honest, it's all with your arm rather than your wrist. I'm trying to use my arm more, like a lot more. I do the wrist more for like curves. You know, if I need to do a curve, it's like, but if I need to do like a line, it's like. Went well, finished an hour earlier, so I did an entire solo run of Trials with No Death. I didn't even know you could play that game solo. <laughs> Can yeah, it's not preferable, so I play it on an easier trial. I mean, that makes sense. Where it's just like, I am at a severe disadvantage right now due to literally being by myself. Therefore, I'm going to not pick a map that is completely designed for multiple people. And even if it is, you need to pick the one that is like more catered to being. How to say, uh accessible to like solo players again even if it's not it's the same reason i haven't done the hardest of uh, hard stuff uh, i only have one other regular player who is any good i feel that as someone who is not the best player i think i've told this story before hey hi how's it going how's your weekend been treating you I uh, used to play a lot of Valheim 2. Not Valheim, sorry. Uh, the, 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 uh, Vermintide 2. There we go. I used to play a lot of Vermintide 2 with a friend. Like, kind of a, a group of friends, but mostly with the one friend. And then the rest were on and off. And it was one of those, like, we could play second hardest difficulty with relative functionality but he could play hardest difficulty I could not and that's just how it was like that skill gap was just there and it was going to stay there because I tried we tried playing on legendary on the before v legendary which I think is veteran 
his skill could carry weaker players. Myself included. But in Legendary, like, people needed to be way closer to his, to his level. And I just... Just can't. Like, I just couldn't keep up with them. I just wasn't good enough, and I wasn't going to get good enough. And it was like... Sorry, bud. Like, I'm just... I'm not... I'm just not capable of getting better at this game. That's just how it is. This is the skill level that I'm going to be stuck at for... Unless I put literal just out, like, dozens of hours into this to get better. And I just don't have the time or the willingness to do that. Once upon a time, I had a group of Left 4 Dead 2 versus... That was a full lobby of 8 players who, re uh, who met regularly. But long... Are the days of being able to co-op? Yeah. Yeah. I do miss Vermintide a little bit, but... During Remnant with my old, uh, with Motha Brother, they were significantly worse than me at the game. And the scaling in the game is harsh in multiplayer, so at times I let them die and solo the boss to save heals for myself. <laughs> we actually clear. Oof. Fucking oof. I don't know why. And I may get flack for this for whatever reason, but... The Left for Dead games, I like, but I can't play them for a long time. Because I get bored of them. I don't know why, but I just get like, all right, we did one. Yeah. And it's like up for another. And it's like, eh, nah, like Vermintide I could do for hours at a time, but I couldn't do that for Left 4 Dead for some reason. Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2. I have no idea why. Literally every boss I did 75% of damage at least. Oof. I take it your brother is what, I suppose, how to say, an elitist would call, quote, casual. Like, isn't as much of a read the abilities, figure out the stuff, realize which stats need to go with what, how to make synergies with abilities, etc. He's more of the like, this looks cool, I'm going to use this. <laughs> Maybe not flack, but some kind of AA. Oh, dear. <laughs> Triox, please, I'm just trying to... I'm like a peacock, you just gotta let me fly. Older brothers, I'm sorry, I did not see the S at the end of brothers. That's my bad. Left 4 Dead is my absolute favorite horde shooter. I have tons of modded campaigns for it. Heck yeah, dude. Brothers Pearl, one is casual, one is very casual. <laughs> I have seven siblings. That's a lot of siblings. Left 4 Dead Advanced was my normal. I can't imagine playing it easier. That's fair, Triox. I am a city builder and colony sim main, if you will. Like, those are the games that I find enjoyable and comforting. Other genres I enjoy, but I don't approach them as often. Like, I like RPGs. Like, action RPGs, I don't mind. But, like, horde shooters, those were not... They're not on, like, the top of my list. By, like, not even close to the top five. They're good, but there needs to be a something to them for me to want to play them a lot. Vermintide was one of them. I was uh, so exo excellent. Good example. Exo Primal was on uh, is free to play at the moment, and um, Mom M, I've never seen you disguise a cookie with a bunch of bombs before. But thank you for the cookie, and I hope that the bombs aren't too explosive. How are you? How's your weekend been going? And I played three hours 
of Exoprimal and was just so bored the whole time. But I don't like player versus player. I don't like competitive stuff. And the only game mode that you had was competitive, the competitive shooter. So it was either you did PvP, so you were playing against, it was a five versus uh, five versus five. Sorry, a PvP in the sense that there is a competitiveness without, like, PvP in the sense of murdering each other? Sort of. It's more that you try to accomplish the same tasks at the same time, or who can do it faster, and then at the end, depending on what you do... There's, there's like a final mission that you can either fight each other or you can interfere with each other. So there is PvP in it. But it's not like a 5v5 like MOBA to, to the fullest extent. And I'm sorry to hear that, Mama M, but I'm glad you're feeling better. Also, Mama M... A few streams ago, you said that you had an announcement, and I somehow just, like, completely read that and was like, I'm gonna get back to that, and I never did. I am sorry that I missed that, that I did not respond to those messages. The other day, it just randomly struck back into my brain, and I'm just like, fuck! <laughs> I need to address that the next time that Mama Ab shows up. So hardcore electric in my taste that I don't have a set taste or eccentric in my taste. Electric? Eccentric? I'm gonna say it's eccentric, unless I'm misreading it completely, in which case I'm sorry. Uh, per se, I tend towards skill based games because if something demands my constant. S oh, eclectic! I'm sorry, I'm reading the C as an S. I got it. I got it now. I put the I put the pieces together. Constant attention for I can properly shut off my brain. That's fair. I can shut off my my brain using mundane like mundanity or mundane. I don't know how to say mundanity. I don't. I'm not saying it correctly because it keeps trying to either read it as modernity, which is not what I want. mundanity sure that works like I can do that like city builders let me do that where I can just like put like a YouTube video on and then just like be like well time to build a city no plans to start with let's see where this goes as it doesn't really build itself as a PvP yeah I don't know. It just... It just didn't hit for me. Like... The tutorial felt simultaneously... Uh... Pointless, but also weak. When I was playing the game, I didn't like the announcer, which is like a robot. There were basically no enemy varieties. It was just like... When you play... One mission, one, like, game, it's, like, 15 minutes long, and you hear summoning raptors 30 times, and you have to do that every single time that you play a new game. Summoning raptors. Summoning whatever the heck those other mons are, whatever the flying ones are. Summoning dino, summoning dino, summoning raptors, summoning, de summoning, summoning. Su Just like, I can't, I can't deal with this. Like the announcer's voice alone. And then every time that you would do a section of the game, it'd be just like, you are doing the tasks faster than the than the other team. You are doing the tasks slower than the other team. There's no variations to his saying it. It's always the same sound clip. And it's just like, I'm losing my mind right now. I'm so bored and just annoyed. <laughs> Uh, 
Ah. Uh, this means my play style is extremely aggressive and reckless, which leads me to dying more than other people in a playthrough sometimes, but beating the game way faster. I beat Arma Armored Core 6 10 to 15 hours faster than the average, for example. Not bad. You are more annoyed than the other team. <laughs> Thank you, Cobalt. Yes, that's kind of how it feels. The finals has portrayed their announcers really well, and they add to the atmosphere. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Moon, because announcers, if they have to talk a lot, they can be rough. And thank you for the stretch in the Hydra, by the way, Cobalt. In the case of Exo Primal, where the gameplay is already repetitive and not really interesting to me, Having that, like, robotic individual talking to you. And also, at the beginning of every match, he, like, materializes himself. And he's be just like, my name is Leviathan, or whatever the heck his name is. Just like, I am a blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, yes, you've said that before. And it's just like, last match, you didn't do so well. Last match, you, di uh, you did rather well. Let's see how you do this time. Hello, Blue. Hello, Cooks. And you're just like, oh my god, just start the game, please. Like, I'm already, like, not that interested. Can you just, like, skip the blah, 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 blahs? But yeah, seriously. The thing that made me quit was legit. Oh, and there was a, a tower. How to say it? Like a point capture game. And thank you for the bits, Mom Am. Mom Am, what was the announcement? Please cookie. don't leave me in the dark. I'm sorry, a cookie. And I will stretch now. But it was just... There was a tower defense. And it was just like... One of those, like, I had not done the tower defense. And the other team clearly had. So we were just getting absolutely stomped into the dirt. Oh, you might have missed it. Uh, a couple of streams ago... You popped in and you were like, I have an announcement or I have something that I need to announce. And I missed that message entirely. And I didn't respond to it, even though in my head I did. And a couple of days ago, it popped back into my head and I'm like, crap, I need to ask Mom M about that. I don't know how long ago this was, unfortunately. I think it was probably about a week ago. But yeah. When you're just, uh... Oh, snap! Thank you so much, Mom M. That's awesome. I appreciate the heck out of that. D&D themed. Oh, baby! Okay, I'm very down for that. As a dungeon master myself, I am very down for that. That's awesome. <laughs> Unreal Tournament's announcer will always stick in my mind. Oh, Spencer, I need... I need reference if you have any, please, because it, it, something is coming to mind, but I can't quite pull it free, if you will. Uh, I know how you feel, Will. A lot of games today have too much talking in them. It's just, I get why the announcer has to, because it has to let you know what you're fighting against, but it's just, it's one audio clip that it just plays. It's always summoning raptors. Summoning raptors. Summoning raptors. And you're just like, shut up. <laughs> uh, the only tower defense I've ever really gotten into. Oh, Sanctum. I never got to play Sanctum, but I remember always peeking at it and being like, hmm. Listening to the beeping nonstop in Wing. Project Wingman has conditioned my ears to automatically press left stick as soon as as soon as it gets back. <laughs> I promise to get you instead of Benji. Uh, sorry about that again. Uh, GP, let me know. Uh, oh, no problem at all, Mama Am. Like, I have no power over what you do. And I don't want there to be. I want you to commission what you want to commission. 
if it's me or Benjamin or even just a hint at one of the two of us, like that's that on its own is an honor. And Benjamin is so marketable. He is. I have two Benjamins on my on my uh, desk right now. Yep, go ahead, Spencer. Um, I have the original Benjamin toast that somebody made for me when I was still working at a studio. And I have uh, a Benjamin that I think it was Geekbot that bought it for me because Geekbot is a bum. That's right, Geekbot. If you're here, you heard me. All right, let me check this out really quickly. Oh, of course, thank you. That unlocked all the memories I needed. Thank you, Spencer. That's that's the one. I bought three more sticks. <laughs> ah, the other day I almost downloaded um, Euro Truck Simulator 2 again. And no problem, ma'am. Go ahead. I almost re-downloaded uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 because I was like, man, I would love to. What is Benjamin class in D&D? Bard. Benjamin can't sing or can't talk, but he has the capability to cast mage hands. And he is, uh, and he is just a little bard. Because Benjamin unfortunately has no voice, but he would definitely play a lute. I've actually hold on. I have a I have one of him. I can show you right now. One uno momento. I've drawn him before. There you go. Hope you can see him. Dang it, he's too low. Hold on. I gotta make sure that there's. Please. Fine. Stay on my face. That I guess. There you go. There's Benji. There's Benji as a bard. <laughs> Because when we were playing, um, oh, what was the game? Pathfinder Kingmaker, I think? Hey, no problem at all, my man. When we were playing Pathfinder Kingmaker, you could make the backgrounds, or you could make the, uh, the character portrait. So I made Benji, so we were playing as Benjamin Toast, the bard in the game. I mean, the character itself obviously didn't look like Benjamin, but the pro port for, uh, but the profile picture did. Oh goodness! And Snow Runners is more of my jam, but ATS slash uh, ETS. Um have really good points too. Oh, I just love the turn on podcast don't pay attention anymore gameplay. That stuff helps for my ADHD brain, but it's because of like my farming background. You would just all the time just have times where it's just like you gotta go do chores and they're gonna be really repetitive and they need to be done, you know? You have to go and push up the feed of the entire barn, which is going to take you like 20 minutes. Or, um, how to say, like, you need to put bedding down under the cows, etc., etc. You know, like stuff that would take you a notable period of time. Like, it's not just a quick five minute thing. And you would have to, for the sake of the health of the animals and for the sake of, you know, cleanliness, etc. I'd be more likely to do that with Hearts of Iron. Man, I haven't played Hearts of Iron in so long. And Stellaris. Oh, I haven't played Stellaris in a while either. I'm so bad at Stellaris. I love Stellaris, but I'm so bad at it. Same with Hearts of Iron. The amount of times that I'm like, I'm going to play as the Netherlands and I'm going to hold back the German forces and then I can't do it because I'm just bad. <laughs> like, I watch... Like, uh, YouTubers like I Sorrow Productions, who actually, like, shows you how to make, like, good military stacks and stuff, and I'm still just, like, I'm just incompetent. Oh my god, like, Harvest Moon and, uh, Stardew Valley. 
similar except for they're a lot more fun. Like, how to say, real farming, in my opinion, is stressful and boring at the same time. Which is why I'll never pick up the, how to say, I'll never be um, continuing the family line of being a farmer. Because that just ain't me. Unbeknownst to most as a kid before I ever tried uh, my first FPS or RPG, I played RTS. Being an ele electrician can be boring or stressful. Or stressfully boring. Like when you have to, how to say it, like replace certain things. Like... X amount of certain things, and they have all the potential to be dangerous, but it's the same motion every time. You know, what is it? Check for cur check for a current, take out, replace, put in, secure, next one, check for current, take out, etc. <laughs> Mind you, I'm speaking for a place of ignorance, obviously, but... I'm just repel I'm just going off similar things that you would have to do when it came to when it came to like farming stuff where we had to like check and see if everything was working. It was like check it, does it work? No, take it out, you know, check what the if it's fixable, if it's not, you know, put it in the not fixable box and take out a new one, replace, go to the next one, check it. Da 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 da, -da, -da and you're just like how long are we doing this for? Three hours? Fuck! <laughs> Wait. Dang it, I could have just kept going. Why, hello there, Flossie. Is that a Solarcy? You can't just be posting Solarcy emotes in here. Don't you know that Solarcy and I are sworn enemies? But how are you, by the way, Flossie? Don't stay up too late. Also, Flossie, this is really, really random. But do you know a comedian named Johnny Vegas? Sometimes it's night to get lost in the sauce, though. I love the days. I was wiring in lights all day sometimes. Oh, I agree. If there's something that just, like, can zen you, I tend to get, um, what is it? Whenever I had to clean the chicken barn, I would just zen out because it's just sweeping and like taking like a what do you call it like a little um what do you call this thing like a dustpan the uh, broom thingy i don't know what the heck they're called and i just that's whenever if i was ever like writing like a D, &D campaign or something those were the moments where i'd be just like this would work you know, because you just, like, just your brain would just stop caring about it. Like, all power could just go to, like, creativity and just thinking. And also, I'm sorry to hear that, Flossie. I hope that you get some sleep, though. Hope that you're drinking water and tea and Johnny Vegas. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that means no. I came across him, like, a year ago when a friend of mine tossed me, like, a best of from a show called QI, I believe was the show. And I enjoyed the, like, the best of Johnny Vegas thing. And then just the other day, I couldn't find it. So I f managed to find him again. And I found a different video and watched it. And I was like, this man fascinates me. <laughs> to destroy my New Year's plan. I'm sorry. A 
Hey, Ling. Have a good lurk. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know him from his face rather than his name. Yeah, he's he's got a very particular... How to say it? Silhouette. And he has... What is it? I think it's called a Lan... A, a, a Lanshire or Lanashire? Land something shire. Accent. Which is like northwestern England, I believe. Lancashire? Something like that? Lancashire, yeah. He's good. Yeah, he just says things in such a particular way. It's very fascinating. And sometimes it's very difficult to... Like, almost, uh... I just say it. It's almost difficult to understand him. Gonna be busy for a month. Boo! Your president sucks. He can be very funny. Yeah, he's fantastic. I actually really like his comedy. He's also very quick on his feet. Which I really appreciate. Like, he's just on the fly kind of funny <laughs> like they were talking about belly buttons and then he's just like you know if you take my if you take mine and then add it to the fact uh, then you add it to my man breasts uh, then it uh, then my torso looks like it's been rejected for a lawn <laughs> Like, it's just so defeated. It's filled out all the forms. <laughs> uh, I just moved up my plans to the week after Thanksgiving instead of just... Which is inconvenient, but oh well. I'm sorry to hear that, though, Eccentric. That's crappy. The one that I first ever heard from him was... On QI, there was a prompt that was like, what happens? Uh, what happens in the rhubarb triangle? And he's like, uh, what does it do? Like, do marzipan fighter planes go missing? <laughs> and <laughs> they don't they don't pick anything up on the licorice radar. <laughs> and the gingerbread men, good men, get lost. And the wives are holding their eyes like this is all that they found. <laughs> like he's just got such a great. She's got such a great approach to it. My favorite line. And I, I encourage everyone to go look him up. But um, he's talking. The, there's a part in QI where they're talking about the columns in Rome. And so it's like, why do the columns look straight? And one guy answers, because they are straight. And then there's about a minute long discussion about how they thought that they would bow the, the columns to make them look straight. But in reality, they are straight. And then Johnny Vegas is like, that's not a question. And then he just starts, like, kind of getting upset about it. And then he's just like, this is why I struggled in school. <laughs> if every train is leaving Glasgow and arrives in Edinburgh and it takes 45 minutes, how did it get there? Because it did. <laughs> I just love... It's so good. This is why I struggled in school. Then he draws a line, like a squiggly line on his page. And he's just like, why does that not look straight? Because it's not. And then he draws a straight line. And then he's just like, why does that look straight? Because it is. <laughs> It's so good. It's it. <laughs> Hold on. I'll find the scene because I feel bad for mumbling about this and nobody knows what the frick I'm talking about. Uh, 
And there it is. It There it is. And there's the timestamp for anybody who's interested. P.S. I'm so sorry that I'm like this. <laughs> God damn it. I'm already starting to cackle at it again. He's just, he's just funny. I enjoy his comedy a lot. And then I find out later that he actually has, like, like, artistic prowess and is also a really good cook. Like, literally just, but, like, he's also, like, known as being, like, a drunkard. Like, he actually has kind of, like, a tragicness to him. But there was a, what was it? There was a podcast I was listening to the other day. And they were discussing some comedians that they liked. And, like, it's a comedy podcast, right? So they're technically... They, they're, they're called, they would be classified as comedians as well. And there's just this part where they bring up one guy. I don't remember the name. But one of the other guys is just like, Oh, yeah, that dude was hugely depressed. And somebody else is like, Really? And he's like, Yeah, he was like... He, like, put himself in an institution, like, twice at least. And it's like, Wow. Would have never guessed. He's so funny. And it's like, yeah, it's almost like comedians uh, draw their comedy from immense from immense sadness that is stored within. <laughs> and I was like, whoo, whoo, goodness gracious! Can't just say the quiet part or the the quiet part out loud like that. But moments like that always make me wonder. Do you think that somebody who is very funny but is a sad person, let's go under the assumption that they go through therapy and they manage to, like, untangle the web that is the misery that is their mind would they become less funny or would they still have that well of sadness prior to their how to say to their recovery that they could still draw from or would they be funny in a different way I don't know. I don't have an answer to that. Yeah, but that's what I mean, Brian. Like, if they're not stressed anymore, would they still be funny? Where's the psychologist in chat when you need one, right? Where it's just like, who here's got a psychology degree that can answer this question for me? The answers must flow. I will have my answer by the end of the evening. So help me God. A different flavor of funny me thinks. That's definitely a fair argument to make, Flossie. Sorry, I had to chug the tea, because otherwise it was going to get cold. I mean, it was already getting cold, but... Bells isn't here right now, so I can't... I can't complain about it being cold, you know? So I might as well just drink it. <sighs> 
sad exhale. <laughs> no, this isn't right. This angle feels wrong. Art is hard. Why do I do it? What tea graces your cup today? It is peppermint. A lovely cup of peppermint tea with just a drop of honey in it. Because despite the disapproval of myself, I'm starting to enjoy mixing honey into my tea, or at least I don't taste it really anymore. Which I get is a little bit different. And blue, you can't just quit. You're not allowed. I forbid it. I have no power here, but I forbid it. Yeah, bud. We get it. Yeah, I know. It's okay. You're compensating. It's all right. You just got to learn to accept it. Sorry. There's just a lot of noisy individuals. Why did I... Why did... My mouse was, like, repelled from it. It's illegal in all states for you to quit, Blue. Boom. This is gonna go if I don't remember. So let's do that. Shoop. That's what I wanted to talk about. Sorry, I had two topics in my brain that I wanted to talk about earlier, and I just had a moment of just like, how do I approach? Welcome. Jack's X save uh, X save nine. Thank you so much for the follow. Super appreciate it. Speaking of follow, flows perfectly into the into the topic that I was about to uh, say. We all have those days where we're like, I don't really like, how to say Like, I don't really follow this person anymore. I don't really watch them anymore. Maybe it's time to unfollow. And hello, Jax. I hope that you're doing well today. You know, maybe I should unfollow them. Maybe maybe it's time, you know? Maybe the, the stars have aligned that just two different paths, two different people. It's okay. We'll see them some we'll see them sometime, etc. In a different life. Yada yada yada. How do you guys approach unfollowing people? 
Is it a guilty thing? Is it a simple thing? Do you do it whenever you remember that you're supposed to do it? Do you wait for them to go offline first? Like, do you guys have a specific kind of like, ah, I can't just, I can't just do that. I need to, how to say it. There's like a ritual to this that needs to be done so that the bad, so that the bad energies don't <laughs> come back to me. Or is it just as simple as just like, boop, there we go. Easy peasy. I'm doing all right, Jax. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing today? But on a second, lazy. <laughs> you see them pop up when they go live, and you're like, oh, yeah. Well, we'll get them next time. Asking what makes us fall certain. No, 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 Brian. I'm saying, do you have a particular method of that you do when you unfollow somebody? Like, let's be real. Everyone has done that before where you're like, oh, I don't really watch this person anymore. You know, they just fill up like that block. I don't even remember following them. Da 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 da. Is it just a quick tip? They're gone? Is it a like a whole routine? Is it like a a fighting with yourself about guilt trip like a guilt trip where it's like, ah oh, well maybe I should give them another chance, da 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 da, etc. Or is it just a simple They're gone. Easy peasy. Have our basics. I'm just getting bored. No, 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 Brian. Sorry, it's it's not why you do it. It's how you do it is what I'm asking. It's not like it. It's not a situation of just like oh, I unfollow people because of these criteria. I'm asking like you've already decided you're going to unfollow them. The reasons before for it are irrelevant. What do you do? Is it just as simple as just like, oh, hit the unfollow button? Is Or is there more to it? I'm asking specifically because the other day, I was like, oh, I don't really watch this person, you know? Like, I, I don't really have any, like, drive to watch them, etc. But they were online. And because of that, I just couldn't unfollow them. Like, it was just weird to me to do that live. And I don't know why. There was no reason for it. But just somewhere in my head, it's just like, no, 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 you can't do that. It's got to be when they're offline. And it's like, but why? And it's like, oh, it's, which is how it is. And it's like, oh. Hmm? Here comes there it the is. Boy. Jax, thank you so much for the subscription. That's very kind of you. Very much appreciated. Quietly walk away without saying anything. Man, that's actually a very fair point. I forgot that there's actually people who make like a big deal out of that stuff you know like leave comments in the videos just like i used to watch you all the time but over the years you've grown stale and it's just like why why would you do that <laughs> hold on let me quickly do some messaging There we go. Mm 
Boop. Boop. Oh. I am a fool. That's what was happening. And hello, Avatar. How are you? But no, it is kind of silly now that you say that, Brian, that there are people who are just like, I'm going to make this a problem for everyone involved. <laughs> uh, I usually just follow people depending on what content they create and their personality. Yep, that's very fair, Jax. That's kind of where I am, too. Like, I always feel bad. Because someone will follow me, you know, like, I'll get raided by somebody, for instance. And I'll get a follow from them. And there's just, like, somewhere in my brain that's just, like, you know, you don't have to do that. Like, I just appreciate the raid. Like, you don't, please don't feel compelled to follow me if you're not interested. You know what I mean? Like, if my content doesn't appeal to you, like, I don't want anybody to feel, uh to feel in that state like i want you to be here because i want you to be you know and i'm thank you i'm glad that you like the emotes all of the benjamin toast ones were made by me all of the ones that are me were made by kajumaju which i think you can see that i think I'm pretty sure i wrote that made sure that that's set up unless that isn't working anymore in which case hmm <laughs> Many questions will be had. No, wait. These tops are usually a nice silver, aren't they? Well, they are now. The microphones that I have are silvery. Don't at me, nerds. <laughs> How is Kudju, by the way? Uh, I'm not on social media much, so I'm out of the... Oh, Kudju's doing fine, as far as I'm aware. Should be streaming tomorrow, as per usual. We did a little, um... A little off-stream hangout the other day. Just him, him, I, and a couple of other peeps. It was a very good time. Why are you not willing to do this? I'm so confused. Why? Perfect. I think I clicked almost the exact same color. <sighs> Fine. Ah, that'll do regardless, won't it? Just make the cable a little bit darker, because why the heck not? And that's, I think, a little bit too bright. Yeah, that's a better color, me thinks. What do you imagine Benjamin is singing? Well, uh, he's probably not singing anything, because he's incapable of making sound. What would he belt at karaoke? <sighs> oh crap. I don't remember how that's a, what the name of that song is. Um one second. I'll have to look it up. This it? Is 
independent women by destiny. <laughs> or Destiny's Child, I think, is the is the name of the song. Why are you being like this? Stop it. Yeah, Destiny's Child, Independent Women. There you go. That's Benjamin. That's Benjamin's song of his soul. <laughs> Ah, crap, I forgot to draw the hand. I knew I was forgetting something. Just sitting there like, All the women independent, throw your hands up at me. I don't remember the next line. Oh, all the honeys making money. That's the one. <laughs> Yeah, that's Benjamin. That's the the final answer. That's 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 Benjamin's song. Wow, Flossy. Good reference. I like it. Taking a break from drawing lately because I've been diagnosed with carpal tunnel. Oh no, Jax, I'm sorry to hear that. And that does suck. I don't think there's any other way to describe that. That just sucks. Please make sure that you are stretching your wrists out. Too sharp. Really does. I've drawn my whole life, and it's painful to even write. Oh no! I unfortunately am not hyper familiar with carpal tunnel, so I can't be like, "Well, you see, in order to fix the carpal tunnel, you must do the following." I realize that I've already goofed this up a little bit because this needs to be. right I can just color it in oh wait I have that already Boop. well I'll just do it this way fill it in by hand not that difficult And yeah, I don't like I said, I don't know a lot about carpal tunnel. I know that it sucks. I think a friend of mine's mum has it. And you can get past it, but it requires rest and recovery and patience with yourself, which can be a pain in the ass sometimes. I understand that for sure. Right hand has been in a splint. Yeah. The only thing that I am aware of on how to, like, keep it from happening is to make sure that you do, like, wrist stretches. And even then, like... Repetitive motion can definitely cause that. 
which is a shame. I've been doing stretches though. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that you're that, that you're taking that approach. Sometimes it's just one of those unavoidable things, which really sucks. Like for some people, it can. I believe I might be talking out of my butt right now, but if I recall correctly, it can be like not hereditary, but there are some people who are more susceptible to it. I am trying to stop myself from uh, going down that potential rabbit hole because we all know that I can go down a lot of rabbit holes when it comes to being like, oh, thing that I don't know about. Oh no, I'm very sorry to hear that, Jax. But at least you know, right? Like, it's shitty that that's the situation that you're in, but... There's an odd little... Blessing is not the correct word, and I would not use that here. But the fact that you at least have that uh, what's the wording that I want to go for there? Uh, I guess warning system to some extent. Because I have um, at least on my dad's side there's like small heart problems. So like when I started getting like little like, how to say it, like heart or like muscle pinches over my heart, I was like, well, I presume that's what that is. So when I got it checked out, it turns out that I had a, a metro valve prolapse, which is not uh, life threatening in any stretch, but it is like, how to say one of those moments where you're like, oh, Gotta keep an eye keep an eye on that stuff. But it wasn't as big of a surprise, you know? It's just like, oh, okay. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> a wrist brace to help. Do you get wrist cramps as well, Moon? I'm like paranoidly stretching my wrists out right now. It's because the thought is at the forefront of my brain. I'm glad to hear that, Jax. Sometimes you gotta find the one that works for you, you know? Very I have a very mild case of tendonitis. Quick Googling. One moment, please. Ah, got it. treatments for tendonitis rest ice compression and elevation well time to keep your hand above your head moon for a long period of time <laughs> oh goodness i forgot to turn that one off ignore that one i'm sorry i didn't even realize it was popping up and have a great night flossy thank you so much for stopping by Please have yourself a good sleep.
Wait a second. We can just use... No, that's not the correct one. That's not the correct one either. Will, use your brain, please. Don't be a big dum-dum. Being a big old dummy right now. Looking bad in front of the dudes. And yeah, have a great night, Flossie. I hope that the rest of your weekend goes well. If you are working tomorrow, I hope it's a smooth and easy shift. And that it gets done nice and quick. Saying siblings are getting sick and I'm not ready to deal with it. Oh no! I'm doing alright. Much to my name, I did not get as much sleep last night as I could have, but bad that's bad choices on my part, but I'm doing alright. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, I need to do the That's not the correct way. Oh, pardon my yawning. No, that's too golden. Past your check. You're lucky. I was not sitting up as straight as I could have been. <laughs> You've caught me. Caught me in your web of lies and deceit. Gonna go do laundry soon. Hell yeah. Pretty chill though, I gotta do some laundry. Get some laundry done today. You got this, Brian. Easy peasy. Eh! What's going on, eccentric? What's going on? What was this pillow throw for? What have I done? What causes you this dismay? It. Been playing the finals. I'm gonna start over soon because I'm downloading it again. Wait, why would you do that, Moon? Why wouldn't you just play on the PS5 at that point? Why would you start from scratch? I'm gonna be twice as angry during this moment. Just throw Bathel. Moon, answer the question. <sighs> Moon, you have a literal history. A history of your laptop not being able to handle newer aged games. Come on, nerd. You should have seen this coming. It was ki it can kinda d hold on, let me no no no. This is this is very hold on. no, this is important. This I'm I'm doing this. I'm putting you on blast for a second here. This, that is a very important word. This word right here is very important. <laughs> I cannot stress how important that word is. I believed you knew what was going to happen. You knew. 
You just didn't want to admit it. There we go. That's better. I like those colors. The, those colors better. Think your laptop's doing gray moon. Don't you encourage her to keep using that laptop and then have to restart? She's got two options. Keep using the PS5 or buy a PC. And her PS5 is doing fantastic. So I would say keep using the PS5. Look, I believe in you, Moon, in the sense that I believe that you will catch up to where you are now quickly. That's what I believe. That's where I'm at. Also, was that game cross-platform? If you know at all, I presume it is since you're going to be playing it again, probably with the friends group that you were talking about earlier. Avatar is asking the hard questions right now. You hope so. Oh my goodness, let me look it up. What is it called? The finals? Finals, crossplay. Yes, the finals supports crossplay between PC and current, uh, current consoles like Xbox Series and the PS5. Boom, easy. Ooh, but does it have cross progression? Hold on. You can connect your account to multiple platforms. Moon, you won't even have to lose anything. Yeah, if I'm reading this correctly, Moon, you could you could just put your account onto the PS5 and you won't lose any of your progress. I get it, Moon. You're hotter than me. Comparatively. <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly how to do it, but you can do it. You just need to Google how to do it, and it doesn't look like it's too hard. Goodness gracious, Moon, did you even look up if you could do cross-progression? Did my one little Google <laughs> search fix everything? I just want to play. Well, do so. If you have to switch to different to a completely different system, please look up what you can and can't do, so that you're not being like, "I'm just gonna lose all my progress," because nobody wants that. Nobody wants that to happen to you. And anyone who does is a dingus, and we don't like them. Control 
I want to hear him sing. I'm sorry, Jax. Benjamin Toast can't actually sing. I've fooled you all into thinking that Benjamin Toast can sing. Blue? I will ban you right now. Gun. <laughs> Banning gun. <laughs> Christmas, everyone. Blue. You played a very dangerous game right now. I will time you out. No hesitation. Moon, you're not safe. Remember that. Your obsession with a certain somebody is concerning. Punishment will be swiftly acted upon. These colors are going to go well together, but we're going to try. Oh, it's actually not terrible. Actually, wait. It should probably be more of like a red, shouldn't it? Not a red, like a, an orange? No, those are two hot colors. We're looking for cooler colors. There we go. That's better. Blue and pink. I want kind of fall-esque colors. And I know green doesn't quite work there, but I want cooler colors because it's supposed to be cold. You know, the, the themes for, for this week are autumn, singing, and cold. My two siblings love Christmas and they're already uh, playing Mariah. I can't do it. I'm sorry, Jax. This is why I'm a hermit. I don't leave because then I don't have to hear her in the stores. And when I do, I have my earbuds in and I'm listening to my podcasts nice and loud. And we're not quite done yet, Moon. We still have a couple things that we need to do. It's a great song. What do you mean? No. Right, I gotta go, but I hope to catch another stream soon. Thank you so much for stopping by, Jax. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the uh, for the sub. It's very appreciated. Good luck with everything. I hope that the wrist clears up soon, and that you can get back to your artistries. Cheers for now. And I need this for the reference would actually be a better choice here. Ooh, maybe a... No, but I need it to be multi-layered because the ones in the back need to be... Eh, it doesn't quite work the way I want it to. Wah. Wah, I say. 
I'll just do regular. That was a little close to the microphone. I'm sorry. That was probably very loud. <laughs> How's it going, my dude? Man, already at two hours. Gosh dang it. How you doing, Novak? How's your weekend been treating you? See how the art's going. Looking good. I just finished cleaning my bunny pen for 45 minutes straight, so I'm exhausted. Well, you still did it, Jade, and that's what we're asking for. Thank you for taking care of your bunnies. You did good. Not too bad. Very tired. Due to work, 9 to 6.30. Ooh. How are you? I'm doing all right. Didn't sleep super great last night, but that's because of bad choices. So that's on me. Is it food? My goodness, Navek, go eat something. Go eat, you frickin' goober. <laughs> go on, get. It's cooking. Cook faster. <laughs> Why wasn't it done 26 minutes ago? Why 26 minutes ago? Then if I know. how I enjoy your streams because they're very relaxed and make for good times because they are no <laughs> you're wrong me screaming immediately in protest towards any semblance of kindness Don't handle compliments well, all right? It's a thing I'm working on. And by working on, I mean actively ignoring. <laughs> also, we need at least one.
That's a terrible maple leaf. Come on now. All right, fine. We'll draw it like this to start with. So it's zoom, zoom. And then it goes up. Spiky, 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 spiky. Come back down. Spiky, spiky, spiky. Spiky, spiky. Come back down. Spiky, 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 spiky. Come back down. In. Boom. Nope, that goes out to... No! That would have been... A loss. Squats! Blue! Can't believe you've done this. Alright, fine. But one moment. Let me do this first. There's more. Oh god, it's awful. Don't you know I'm actually gonna be like exhausted and incapable of like talking after I do this? Fine, if you want to silence me so bad, then so be it. Headphones are off. Glove is off. I'll do the stretch and the hydrate afterwards, Moon. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna do the stretch now. Since I'm standing, I can do more dynamic stretches. Now we're good. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. And then we do the push ups. <coughs> That'll teach you. That's your fault. You heard me. Your fault. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? Headphones back on. Glove P poorly placed. Now good. <sighs> That's right, now we're not talking for a bit. I gotta recover. <sighs> Gosh dang it, I need to turn that off. It's gonna bug me. And then I'm going to forget it in the stream that it's important. Because <laughs> that's, that's my intellectual capabilities. The hell is Martyr playing? <laughs> 
Hang in my reference. go and then we need these are Really just getting flung around right now. I need him to be slightly bigger than the one in the background because otherwise it just doesn't quite feel right, you know? Five feels a little bit small, but we'll take it. And go in to make sure that all the spots are filled. Looks like that was the only one that had an issue. Perfect. So then we'll give them a nice, let's see, we'll give you a nice orange, and we'll give you a variant of orange. This one needs a nice red because it's a maple leaf, and we'll give you a, no, we need a darker green, nice dark green, no. Doesn't work there. We'll give this one a nice dark green. And then we'll give one of them kind of like a goldeny yellow look. There we go. Benjamin Toast. Singer extraordinaire. Make one pink. There's no pink leaves. Leaves don't turn pink. Do they? I don't think so. They're like oranges and yellows and reds and greens and browns. So yeah, by that logic, we're gonna turn this one into more of a brown color. There we go. gonna try something. Let's see if I can get away with it. Boom, double the leaves, easy peasy. Also, there's a little bit too much negative space. So 
so we're gonna cut it cut it down that way it's way more focused and nice there we go nice and easy It's a little too on the nose, isn't it? There we go. Oh, and obviously the important little detail that isn't actually really important but boom done did it in under three hours hell yeah Flex, flex, dab. <laughs> Wanna head pat him? Let him sing, Moon. Let him sing. Now I don't know what to do anymore, cause like, I'm like, done, and I don't know what to do. I can't sweat, I, I really need to learn someday to be able to switch. Cause right now my brain's like, art's done, it's done. Stream's done. And I can't get out of that headspace. And I know I can't. But I need to learn to get out of that headspace at some point and be like, well, we still have, you know, 40 minutes. What else can we do? And it's just like, nope, we can't do anything else. This is the thing that we need to do. It's done. We need to leave now. It's done, skis. Get out of here. Why are you still here? Ah! Etc. So I'm going to check something really quick. I think that we're gonna go support Lady Beaver. Cause she, hope I'm doing the correct pronouns in that regard. Yes, she, okay, I am right on that, whew. Cause she is currently doing a chibi de uh, debut and an official debut, or a chibi reveal and an official debut. Words are hard. Regardless, we're going to go support somebody. Because they're doing good. They've been doing very well recently. I'm really happy with the fact that they're showing some like showing some good growth on their channel. And I want to go support them. So that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to go and raid Lady Beaver. Lady Beaver is a, like, medieval lady-themed VTuber who is, like, a big history nerd. Uh, 
they're currently playing uh, Deep Rock Galactic with some friends, so we're going to go ahead and support them. Fair warning, though, they do occasionally have some more lewd commentary, so if that's not something you're interested in, you know, be warned. Viewers beware, you're in for a scare. But, everyone, thank you so much for sticking around. Whether you were chatting, whether you were lurking, whether you just popped in and out for a second, know that you were super appreciated. I hope that you guys are having a great day, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time might have to be for you. I hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're drinking plenty of water. And when you finally do sleep, whatever time might have to be for you, I hope that you have a very restful sleep. Thank you, bedheads and sleepy breads, so much for sticking around, and I hope to see you at the next sleepover. Bye-bye!